it's -a Mia, Avia. I'm Abigail Kirsten, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be on this lovely, shiny, voluminous bombshell hairdo. There's gonna be a ton of tips and tricks that you can do at home. I'm also gonna tell you how to get this shine without using oils or anything like that. Just basically being so true to your natural hair, and you know, instead of being like, oh, I use this to make it shiny, you're gonna be like, yo, I got this naturally. With me, baby. I finished this look in about 10 to 15 minutes. You can probably finish it at five depending on the thickness of your hair. My hair is really thick and it still takes me 10, 15 minutes to do it all. This kind of hairstyle is meant for any types of hair, thin, brittle, ones with split ends, short, long, it doesn't matter. This is gonna work for you guys' hair and it's gonna give you a ton of volume with no teasing, back combing, or any sort of hairspray at all. It's gonna be less chemical in your hair, but it is also very damage free because you don't have to do so much to get voluminous hair. So if you guys wanna know how to get this, awesome bombshell look just keep watching <laughs> So for this tutorial, all you'll need is a clip to hold your hair if your hair is thicker, get a bigger clip, a bristled brush, and a fine tooth comb. Sorry, a wide tooth comb. <laughs> this will prevent your hair from having split ends while it's wet and you have to comb the knots through. If you use this brush while your hair is wet, basically you're gonna get a lot of split ends, hair fall, and it's just not gonna be good for healthy hair. You're also gonna need a good hair dryer. I'm gonna be using you mobile I'll, I'll link it down below and then one of my favorite hair straighteners is solutions by Vidal Sassoon it's one of my favorite hair straighteners it can like curl hair and make your hair wavy and straighten the hell out of it as well so first what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to blow dry my hair and the secret to a voluminous look is basically when you take up your towel put your hair down like Bring it all in front of your face and blow dry your hair while your head is down that way. When your hair is down and your roots are like out that way, it kind of tells the hair be volumed outside. Hopefully you guys get it. I'm gonna take the wide tooth comb and comb my hair. Taking out all the knots from the end first. And this, ow! I have a lot of knots guys, like... I mean, not a lot, a lot. With the hair products I use when I go for a shower, my knots has reduced. Ah, pain still there sometimes in some areas. <laughs> Guys, you get this cool slick back look. I wish my hair would stay this way, oh my god. <laughs> but you know what, that, that's not part of this video. <laughs> I'm also going to be putting it to the highest setting so that my hair dries fast because my hair takes a long time to get dry. So let's do it. As you can see guys, I have like a lot of hair to deal with it's still wet in some places because it's like it's hard to get everything dry but this is the most i can do so now we're going to take the bristly brush and i'm just going to comb through my hair because when we make the waves that we want there shouldn't be any knots this kind of maintains the shininess and if you have knots and you straighten your hair on top of it and you apply heat it kind of tells where it's knotted that that's how you should stay while straightening even So my hair is naturally curly and I got a lot of kinks underneath but you can't see it now because I had used the white tooth comb to straighten it out taking away all the kinks and the curliness before I put heat on it. Why I'm doing this is basically because when we do the waves, if we have kinks while doing it, we have to keep going at it. And when you want your hair to be thick, you shouldn't keep going with the straightener because it's going to make it feel more fragile and thin. So now basically I'm going to put on my straightener. It's on right now and I'm gonna be putting it, I don't know if the camera's catching it. I'm gonna be putting it to the highest. My hair needs the highest heat. What I do like about the straightener is that it takes literally like 30 seconds for it to be fully heated. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm gonna take that clip I was talking about and what we're gonna do is sh sh section our hair. Sorry guys, the sun is coming through, you know. Measure right where our lobes are underneath and then take the back of your hair basically separate it and then we're going to just wrap that up nice so that it doesn't fall and clip it 
So when you have the bottom of your hair, you want to make sure it's a lot. It's not like a thin piece. It always looks voluminous if you take more hair. If you take individual ones, it's just going to look lanky. That's one of my secrets to having that thick look. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up the root a little bit. I don't like going to my roots that much. Pull it out. And then curl very slowly as you pull it out into your shoulder inside. This will give it that nice flick that causes more voluminosity. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Before I ever straighten my hair, run my fingers through it just to see that there are no knots. So this side is a little tricky because it is my right side. And then what I'm going to do is pull away from the root, curl into my chest. Yeah, don't worry about if one looks shorter. It's nice to have that messy, voluminous look because that would create that natural finish, you know? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna section my hair again. Whenever you finish your hair, leave it in front. Don't put it at the back because when you let go of this hair, you know what you've done is in front. Then what we're gonna do is put your thumbs there, right where the beginning of your ear is and section that part. At this point, we can bring that section to the front and then repeat, do the same thing again, basically. Pulling outwards to so give it that volume while it goes out and then bring it into your chest. I'm gonna redo that a little bit. So always make sure there's like a point right here so when you go in, you're turning into that point, like just in the middle of your chest. Yeah, so that gives you that nice swoop and it's really like bombshell like. <laughs> now I'm going to be doing the top of my head. Again, leave the hair in the front so that it doesn't get mixed up. Let go. Go from the, the arcs, arches of our eyebrows and take that part now. As you can see, I'm sectioning really thick, thick amount of hair. Oh, and just another tip, in case you guys needed like measurements, I always take like increments that are from the tip of my finger to almost that knuckle over there. If you want even thicker, you can have the whole finger length basically. That would still give you an amazing look. From then, I'm just gonna repeat everything that I was doing before and yeah, let's do it. So now we're gonna section the hair again. What we're gonna do is we're going to, of course, let it go, let it go. We're gonna pretend like there's a V from the middle of my eyebrows. So take that and that's what we're going to be separating all the way till the crown at the back, like that, just so we have a little top action being saved for a lighter alligator. No. So now the next part is tricky. We're always going to want to put the front facing in. For this part, now we want to create that volume and it always starts at the crown. So what I'm going to do is section off that hair and instead of curling in, we're going to curl away. Same process, we volumize it by facing it upwards from the root. But when we go to the end, what we're going to do is so go curl it away while turning your wand like this going back So next we're gonna tackle the top of our head. We're gonna let go of that and we're gonna separate it basically down in the center. I'm gonna use my finger for that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but get it as close as you can. And we're gonna start from the back this time first because we're gonna get that part done since it's the most annoying part of the head. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're getting into the, the crown area. You're gonna do the same thing except you're gonna like lift it up, keep curling it as you lift, keep curling it and then away. Okay, this is gonna give you that volume. So this part over here, which is the bang area, I'm gonna go from here to the top, like a triangle. You can see that it's separate, like. And I'm gonna put everything away, brush it out of my face. <laughs> the struggle is real to film this. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna take the first layer on top over here. So first layer. You're gonna lift it up, basically like that. You're gonna straighten it upward i'm gonna bend down for this upward and then as you go up keep curling it and pulling it towards the end basically like that and leave it there like don't touch it we're gonna go to the next part over here brush your fingers through it pull it up okay straighten it upward and then like that curl it keep rotating it as you go to the back and let it be there. Yeah. I'm gonna let it cool, I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, so I let it cool for at least 30 seconds to a minute and now I'm gonna just brush my fingers through that front section all the way till the back, like that. Pull everything in front. And then you'll see you got that nice fluffy volume. This part I didn't think came too well, so we're gonna redo that. But this side came out really well. You can see the volume if you fluff it up. It will stay fluffy because the wave kind of helps your hair memorize where it's supposed to be. So this is cool down. I'm gonna run my fingers through it. Some of you might be asking for the back, how to make it look nice. Let's take the hair over here that falls right on top. Lift it up, except move it forward, curl it right until the end. And then pull it back put it back and yeah that's your wavy messy voluminous bombshell hair and as you can see it's like got tons of volume it's super duper shiny there's no hairspray there's no back combing there's no teasing you know anything to hold it it's so natural it looks so healthy and shiny and Oh my god, like like as if you got some expensive products to basically do your entire hair. Except for this is all for like cheap. And the thing that's great about doing this kind of look is that day by day it actually keeps looking better as you wake up. It gets you that bed head and even when your hair becomes oily it's still gonna look so good. And that's why this hairstyle is like go-to because I know that I wouldn't have to think about my hair as days pass as I sleep on it. Every day as you wake up it's gonna just look awesome. This hairstyle it's flippable so you can flip it from here and there don't do it while it's still hot do it while it's cooled down so that you can get that finesse final look that won't waver just because you played around while it was hot it'll give you so much va va boom you can flip it to the other side same kind of volume lots of va va boom <laughs> It's like the perfect hairstyle for every day without looking over the top. And yeah, that's the final look, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. I hope you try it out and let me know if you agree with me that your hair keeps looking better day by day. I hope that your hair gets voluminized without doing too much damage to it. Please like, subscribe, share, thumbs up this video and comment below if you want any more tips and tricks. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. And you know, share the love, basically.